They look great. I, I actually love the look. This is a, you know, bottom line, these are actually F41s, which is the same bells of the original F40s. Uh, the copper wires inside used to look a little bit more yellow, if I recall correctly. Um, I'll actually put a link in the description to the spec of those motors because I remember them that uh, Ryan Harrell had them on his website and uh, and he uh, he did a whole thing on, about them. All right, everyone, what I have here is very interesting. I posted this to my Instagram account, Pinchtune, on Instagram, and yeah, it got quite a bit of attention, I have to say. It is the Racer Star plus T Motor collaboration, let's call it, and it is a 2400 kV. So this particular motor size has been very popular in the F40 line. It's been around for a while from version one to version three now, and I believe this is based on version one. Don't quote me because they've made a bunch of versions and I kind of forgot. But um, at the moment, I got a set of four of these from Banggood. I'll put a link in the description. The idea behind this motor is to be a good budget motor. And I'll tell you straight up right now, I have never really consider, considered cheap motors. I'm not rich, but I tend to like to buy good equipment for my FPV stuff. So I'll tell you right now, I've never bought a Racer Star motor or considered it until now. But now, and I believe this is basically Banggood and Racer Star aiming at a higher sort of price point or market using a very well-known manufacturer that people know make good motors to give the motors more appeal. However, still keeping it at a good low price point. I believe these are around $15, $16 or something like that. I know the price fluctuates a little bit, but I'll put a link in the description so you can find the actual listing. But the price I know is around there, which is higher than an Emacs Echo motor. But even though the Emacs Echo motor has been pretty popular, I have to be honest, I'll go with this rather than that. Uh, I, the reason is I just like T-Motor. I fly a lot of T-Motor motors. I would say 85% of my fleet is all on T-Motor. But I do test and try other ones so I know what I am running them up against. You know, I, I fly Sings on some quads. I fly, um, what is it, X-Nova, which are very good as well. A couple Hyperlite motors and some Brother Hobby motors, which are basically Hyperlite as well. But uh, T-Motor is definitely my favorite, so when this thing came out, I was very, very interested. As you can see, it is based on, somebody called it, the Chat Nowak era of this particular motor. I believe he made it popular when he first started flying it. And it has the same thing. It has a separate shaft, hollow, and then it has that very well-known bell with the um, typical windings from... T motor. Now, if you look at the bottom here, you'll see a couple interesting features. The first thing you'll notice, and let me get a pointer here. If I find one nearby, let's go ahead and use this. Um, it's a fully hollow shaft. And I like it when, when they use uh, circlips and, on lower budget motors because you know they're cheaper than running screws. And I really have no problems with circlips. I actually sometimes find them easier to replace because sometimes screws get stuck in there and they don't want to come out. But as you can see, it's a fully hollow shaft all the way through. So in fact, I can't even see the table below it. So that is that is very good for strength. It uses the old pattern of having, I believe, 16 by 16 and 19 by 19 holes. And that is because as you can see the bell design, the base is the traditional old style bell that is, what do you call it now? Naked, it's not naked, this one has pants. <laughs> so. It has the same outer ring as the older motors. And so that is one of the things that some people are going to go like, oh, you know, I wish I had the new stuff. Hey, you know, you're going to pay less. That's the whole point. This motor is obviously using old, older tooling. And by using that, they can actually reduce the price. And by buying it from T-Motor, I know there is some kind of, I'm sure T-Motor needs to, you know, there's some kind of margin they need to make. And the racers start to make their own motors anyway. So, but still the price point is really good and you end up, you know, you have to end up with a base like this. Now, here's the thing though. This is mostly a freestyle motor, uh, especially a 2400 KV. I know these come for 6S as well. I think it's 1700. Um, and I find this base is fine. 
is fine, for, especially for freestyle. For racing, I kind of want the naked base, simply because the racing stuff takes a whole lot more beating. And and this base, even though it's fine, they're strong. They, where they bend is like right here if you hit them. But at the same time, if you hit something back down here, it really doesn't affect anything. It's, it's the actual bell when you bend the bell that the magnet starts touching and that becomes a real problem. Looking closely, I see a couple of things that I really like. For example, I can tell that the magnets are curved. I would have to check the specs on the website to tell you what kind of magnets and what, what they are. I'll put in the description whatever I can find in terms of that. Uh, the uh, windings look to be the standard multi-strand that T-Motor likes to use. And um, yeah, everything here looks really good. So essentially, build quality looks excellent. The base is the traditional one, but it's fine. And the bell is just not the newest bell. But, you know, it's a very good, well-built motor for a low price. And it has very long wires so that you can run them all the way into your ESC. Uh, a couple of things we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh it. And we're of course gonna compare it to its cousin, let's call it. I have an F42 here, which is also a 2400. And as you can see, the windings, you can kind of tell there on the Racer Star T motor, they're the standard copper color, where on the F42 and F43, it's the lighter color coating. And of course, this one has a bolt and it has the naked bell, but I mean, a naked base. But then again, this is a $26 motor, so it's like $10 more. And when you multiply that by four, that's 40 bucks is a big difference. Uh, there you have it side by side. Looking at the cables, uh, the wires, I know the camera will not zoom out by itself, so you're going to have to bear with me here. But I'm going to compare the wire length. And it turns out, look at that. These long wires are from the Racer Star motor. They're actually longer. So they give you a lot more wire so that you don't find yourself having to you know, to splice wires to make them long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and measure them and see what they measure at. I'm trying to do this around the camera, but it looks like the Racer Star motor has 20, 250 millimeters of wire, where the uh, F42 has just 155 mil so that's quite a big difference let's go ahead and check the weight now of course the racer star motor has more wire so you got to keep that in mind when i weigh them come on stay there it's harder than oh there we go so the thing this one weighs 34 grams with the long wires of course it fell off but you You'll trust me there. 34 grams with wire. And the F42 should be lighter, not only because the wires are lighter, but also because the motor is just slightly lighter too. Oh yeah, that's one thing with the naked base, they're a little bit lighter. So this one is 32.5 with the short the, the wires that are slightly shorter. So what I'm gonna say is this. There we go. 32.5 five-ish. So I'm, I'm going to say that it's about half a gram difference in wires. That's 32. To, so And then one gram difference in the base. So essentially, at the end of the day, when you cut the wire short, the Racer Star T-Motor F40 2400KB is one gram heavier than the F42. And that is that. Usually you lose a gram when you go with the naked base. So that is it uh, as far as my impressions of it. You know, I expect this motor to be fine, to be durable, to fly well. Uh, the question is, how well is it going to fly? Is, can you rip with basically what people are going to say? It's like slightly older tech as far as a motor. Well, you know what? I believe you can. And I'm going to put him on a quad right now. And I'm going to take it out for a spin. Tune in a little bit and show you footage right after this.
What I did is I mounted the motors on my Hyperlo RS Plus test rig. This quad is perfect for that because I'm using race wire. It makes motor swaps really easy. This is a 4S quad, which is perfect for these motors. And I paired it with Genfan 5043 props. I've been flying the 51466 um, Hurricanes a lot lately. I like them a lot more, but they seem to need a little bit more juice. I, ha I find them sometimes hard to tune on 4S, but I've been flying them on 5S, X6S just fine. But these uh, are slightly less pitch and they're also lightweight, so they are good for forest motors like this. Um, one thing I wanted to point out about this rig is that this quad is at the sweet spot of 600 grams. I have a video where I go into depth about weight on these forest quads, but I literally just weighed it. It weighs 599 point something grams with everything, battery, the GoPro case, and even the ND filter and the whole deal. So it's really good. So what we'll do is we'll take it over to Triangle Building now so you can see a flight of these motors and we'll conclude after that. All right, excuse the noise. It's usually very noisy here. We're next to the freeway or very close to the freeway. I think I found a pretty good tune on the Hyperlow RS Plus with the Racer Star T-Motor F40s. Um, you know, I've been moving a lot towards uh, 5S and 6S lately. So, but I still have a couple quads on 4S and some really good 4S batteries, so I'm not opposed to flying 4S still. And there's something about the low weight that's really fun. It's actually, it has less power, but they're very agile. So one thing I want to point out is, uh, since I think it's flying very well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually flying with high D, a lot of D for a lot of padding. And the motors are not getting warm or anything, they're new, so the bearings are nice, the props are clean. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to the PIDs, uh, to an image of the PIDs in, uh, in the description so you'll see what I'm running on the thing. I'm going to tell you right now that I liked the motors more than I was expecting. You know, I knew they were going to be good. I expected they were going to be fine, you know, they come from a good design, they're made by T-Motor, so I just knew they were going to be fine, but I gotta say, after flying them a bunch of times, I didn't want to stop flying it. 
there's something about this quad and the, the weight and this motors and the props and everything and the tune I just kept cranking up D uh, and the flight I just showed you actually wasn't my last flight I flew about four or five flights after that and I kept cranking D up and it kept flying better and better it's just that that flight that I posted was kind of like the best one of all but cranking D up over 30 and beta flight 357 the motors never got hot uh, and it flew very smoothly for it flew very well so yeah, uh, they're already kind of, you know, they're not beat up because I didn't have any big crashes or anything like that, but they are a little bit dirty. Uh, and yeah, I'm very stoked. I, I, I like them a lot more than I originally expected. I thought, you know, this review is going to be easy. I'm sure the motors are going to be fine. But after putting a bunch of packs through them in, a diff in different days, <laughs> I like them a lot more than I had originally planned. So for the price, actually for, not just for the price, just the motors themselves, are good regardless of the price yeah so you're paying less because of the not naked bell and the fact that it's an older design overall but you can't go wrong with them if you uh, need a forest quad or a forest motor for low price this is the way to go oh that's not not only that if you want to build more than one quad you're gonna do two or three and at that point the price of the motors really starts racking up so this would be a good option okay so let's wrap this up. I didn't do an outro the day of I was, I was flying because it started getting really hot and I had to leave. So I'm just wrapping it up now. I just want to thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, it's doing very well. Uh, check out the, the links in the description for links to this on the Banggood store and other things that I recommend. Thumbs up to the video, hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos and recommend this to your friends. The channel's doing great, and the more you help, the more it's going to grow. See you in the next one.